back, applied yoga integration. We're looking at a couple ways to work with lower back pain. Nobody's lower back pain is the same, and there's no one program that's going to work for every single person. But what we're going to do today is just look to create a little bit of mobility in the lumbar vertebrae, uh, create a little bit of hydration to the lumbar discs, and just have a little bit of movement to make everything a little bit freer. So first, you can get on your hands and your knees as if you're going to do cat and cow. We're not doing cat and cow, but we kind of are doing cat and cow, but only for the lower back. Instead of working with the whole spine, what I want you to do, hips are directly over knees, shoulders are over hips, or shoulders are over wrists, and you're just going to tuck and tilt your lower back. Work with your breath, get the breath to move, and just get a little bit of motion into your lower back. You're going to feel that one side might be a little bit tighter than the other. Uh, one side has a little bit more mobility, but just work to get some of that movement in there. And once you do that, if you want to Take it a little bit higher and get a little bit more motion into your spine. That's fine. After you do a couple of those, you're going to start to do something that uh, I like to call barrel rolls. Instead of just doing that, what we call sagittal play in that front and back tuck and tilt, you're going to start making circles with your lower back. So you're going into flexion and extension of your lumbar spine while you're making these circles, and then change directions. Just get a little bit of motion, a little bit of movement in there. When you're done with that, I'm going to ask you to push up into downward facing dog pose. I don't care if your heels come to the ground. I, I just want your arms to be straight. I want you to assume some sort of variation of the pose. Then you're going to come forward a little bit, bend the knees, and again, go into this tuck and tilt. After you do a couple of them, you can make little circles. Same exact thing, but just at a slightly different angle. Now here's where it gets a little trickier. Your knees are going to be bent, and you're going to do this tuck and tilting. Now, this is what I call a tilt. When your spine goes into extension, your two sit bones move up towards the ceiling. A tuck is when the sit bones move down and the lower back rounds a little bit. When you tuck your pelvis, when it goes from here to here, I want your glute muscles, your glute max, to grip and to engage. I'm going to ask that this particular portion of your body, a part of our body that often tends towards weakness and shouldn't, and is very possibly a cause of a lot of people's low back pain, grips when you go into that flexed position. So when I go up into down dog, knees bend a little bit. You're working with that tuck and tilt. Now, this is the tilt. When you tuck, grip both buttocks and tuck. Release and tilt. Grip both buttocks and tuck. And you're going to go back a couple of times, asking for each one to grip as you tuck it forward. I know it's a little bit of a weird action, but it's going to start to create strength inside of the glutes and allow for your lower back to go into a slightly rounded position, which most of us are not able to access as well. Good. After that, lie on your back, just like so. One knee's going to bend. You'll bring it over to the side. My head starts to turn to the right. I don't need to force it, just to whatever position is comfortable. You see that my knee is bent. It's not even touching the floor yet. I'm just getting a sense of what uh, my body's comfort level is in this moment. And then I'm going to straighten the leg and just allow for the foot to touch the floor. Now, for some people, that's going to be a lot of stretch into the lower back or a lot of twist. It's going to be a little bit too much. For you guys, you can just bring your leg down a little bit. It doesn't have to be straight off of the hip. It can be wherever you want. You can even have a little bit of bend in the knee. You see that's bent. And just breathe. Allow yourself to soften into this position. Good. That comes up, bend the other knee, change sides. Now you'll quickly find that twisting to one side might be a lot different than the other. The main thing is that I don't want you to cause yourself pain. There's a difference between pain and stretch. There's a difference between good pain and bad pain. But find the level where you feel like, OK, that's where I want to be. That feels good. I can stay here, and I can breathe. Let go straight if you want. You can stay bent. You can do whatever variation you want. And 
you breathe. Good. Come out. Just bend both knees. Take a couple more breaths here. Bring both knees to the chest. That's it. Super simple. See if it works for you. See if it helps. Applied yoga integration. See you guys soon. Thank <music> you.